Belinda, just to begin with, tell us about the match today. Well, yeah, it was a tough match, as I expected against uh, Kuznetsova. We always have uh, three set matches and we played a couple of times. So um, for sure, you know, I was watching the tactic a lot of times to play against her. And um, yeah, I mean, I was happy with the way I fought and um, super happy about the win, of course. Um, but yeah, it was not easy out there and I just tried to tough it out. <laughs> Thank you. We'll move to online questions from ESPN. Willie, your question, thank you. Hi. I was wondering what you think the fact that the tournament is being played and there are fans on the, in the stands might mean in terms of hope for the rest of the world. Um, well, first of all, I'm... Um, in, in the eyes of a tennis player, I'm super happy we have the opportunity to play, of course, and uh, we have the opportunity to play our job, even if not, you know, in 100% uh, perfect conditions. But still, um, we are, you know, the tournaments are trying their hardest to to create this opportunity for us. So we are super grateful about it. I think every player is. And of course, around the world, I think there's many people suffering and um, yeah, many people not having the perfect ideal life right now. But um, yeah, I'm still aware of that. I'm, I'm aware that tennis probably is not the most important thing right now. And I mean, it's, it's not always, but right now even less. So um, yeah, but I still hope we can, you know, bring a little bit joy to the people here and a little bit, you know, entertainment and, and just, um, you know, to the fans that love to watch tennis, that um, we can entertain them. And um, yeah, otherwise, I just hope for everyone this is over soon and um, everyone can continue their normal lives. So yeah, for sure, I'm, I feel like this. So I think we all have to have hope. Can you also give a preview of your next match against Mertens? Um, yeah, I definitely think she's a very consistent and solid player, and um, I haven't played her before. Um, I played her in juniors, but not in uh, WTA yet, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the match. You know, I'll definitely, you know, relax my mind today and tomorrow and just, you know, get back focusing um, tomorrow evening and try to find a tactic against her and a game plan. Thank you. Our next question. Uh, from Belgia news agency, Serge Faye. Hello. Oh, you popped yourself on mute again. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Yes. Can you hear me? Now, yes. <laughs> okay. I was just uh, asking a follow-up to the question of Willie. Uh, what, what do you think you'll have to do against uh, Elise? And uh, how tough will it be? Because, I mean, you've been in a hard lockdown. You haven't been able to, to play a lot of matches. And she just comes out of uh, winning the first tournament for her of the year. At the So uh, how tough of a challenge will it be? Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely a challenge. I definitely um, don't consider myself as a favorite, um, not against her and not in these rounds as well. So, you know, I'm just here. I'm just playing with what I can. And of course, and I know she's, um, you know, probably confident here, but, you know, I, it doesn't matter. I think every match starts from zero and, um, you know, I will try my best to, you know, put the best performance I can do and, and be happy with myself and give it all on the court and if it's enough, it's enough. If not, then then I take it and I, I go back to work. You you know from June you know from juniors you said uh, have you been surprised of how she she played uh, since the the end of the first lockdown in August? She won she's the player who won first matches so uh, on a high with a with the first tournament win. No, I'm not surprised. I think she's a great player. Thank you, Serge. We'll now move to 